How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good morning to you. I'm Paul Cicala with the U of A softball team on the road and the Wildcat baseball team off last night. How about some high school baseball? There'd be the Lancer Classic Tournament at Reed Park with Mogales and Empire taking the field early on. And U of A catcher Cesar Salazar was in attendance. And hey, he used to suit up against both teams in high school when he attended Saguaro. And he'd see Kevin Jimenez get Nogales on the board right away. Here, he will bring in Jorge Bojorquez. Gotta love Coach O.J. Favela continuing to lead the Apaches. There he is. And then it's Alec Acevedo with a single to bring in Jimenez. Nogales was on a roll all night. Meanwhile, CDO and head coach Keith Francis were taking on Staley High School from Missouri with a runner on for Staley High. This is a great bunt, but look at the heads-up baseball from Angel Ochoa. He's going to get the runner taken. Too big of a turn. He's out of there. That'll help Nate Martinez on the mound and then getting a strike out of his own. And then for CDO, how about Enrique Romero with the opposite field shot over the left fielder's head and check out the player. Wow, where's it at? I got it. Oh, gosh, it's over my head. What happened? Well, <laughs> this is what happened. That'll bring in Tyler Porter and Romero ends up in second. CDO wins the thriller, seven to six. Gotta love the Saguaro High School baseball uniform. The pitcher Travis Cole is sporting and early against Sienega. Cole with the strikeout. And then how about one more to end the inning? There it is. It's not the uniform that makes the player, it is the player that makes the uniform. And with Saguaro at the plate, Emilio Gonzalez will smack it off the pitcher, but Sienega second baseman Brandon Mondo makes the play in the end, though. Saguaro wins 11-1. Spring drills continue for Arizona head football coach Kevin Sumlin and the Wildcats after being introduced as the head of the U of A football program. Sumlin named 10 assistant coaches. One of them is the guy that U of A diehards knows as the running back that ran back the historic interception against ASU for a touchdown. We are talking U of A great Chuck Cecil. Cecil will continue as the senior defensive analyst, which is a positive thing, according to some. And by Chuck Cecil. He's got great name recognition. You know, anybody you walk out there and see their name on the, on the board, well, more than on that board, but everywhere you walk. So, you know, um, he's a great representative of, of, of the university and, um, you know, is really a legend. And so guys that can talk to him about what, what life's all about, you want to play at the next level, you want to play at... at, at you know, how he played the game, and, you know, that's, he, he really, you know, he gives a, a, a different look at, at things that, that maybe some other guys who've just been in college football, you know, don't know. And if you don't know, well, now you, well, you fill in the blanks. <laughs> that's it for now. I'm Paul C. Calla for News 4 Tucson Sports. Happy Friday to you.